If you want to know what's new in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, I can definitely accommodate your needs. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, and I'm holding it down once again for PinnacleStudioPro.com. It's time to break down all the new features of Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, so let's jump into the software and get it going. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. I know you can see it looks different. I know you can see that it's new. So I'm gonna break down what's new, and we're gonna start off with Project Bend. In previous versions of Pinnacle Studio, you just had watch folders. Now you have the ability to disable your watch folders and you can use Project Bins to import just the files you want to use. This is what you've been asking for. If I go over here to the navigation bar and I click on it, you'll see that I have the ability to add a new Project Bin. If I click on that button, I can name it. Click OK. And I have the ability to import any file that I want into this project bin. And guess what? After I've created it and imported my files, even before I import my files, really, it's saved up here in the project bins area. So I can always go back to it and import or remove files from it if I wish to do so. Lovely. Now, just in case you want to disable watch folders, I'll show you how to do that real quick. So you go to setup, control panel, and the first option it jumps to is watch folders. And at the top, there's a button to disable watch folders. Let's move on to the next new, 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 newness. The next thing is favorites. So if you got an effect or something that you like to use on a regular basis and you're tired of going back and finding it all the time, you can save it in favorites. As a matter of fact, you can save effects, you can save transitions, and you can save filters to favorites. If I go to my effects here, I can right click on any one of these effects and click on add to favorites. And then there will be a favorite tab available to you here in the navigation so you can go back to the favorites that you selected and access them now of course it's not the same as saving a fx composition because the fx composition saves the actual uh attributes of keyframes that you change and the settings that you change this will just save the effect as a favorite for you to get to it easier whenever you want to use it All right, so you know I didn't name this Project Ben Multicam for nothing, baby. We got Multicam. Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate is bringing you Multicam. All right, it's really quick and easy to use. I'll be doing a tutorial on it in the future, but for today, let me just show you where it's at. Right here, Multicamera Editor. If you click on this button, it'll open up the first part of the multi-camera editor tool, which allows you to select the video and the audio that you want to use. There's six video audio tracks and then two audio tracks. Great thing about this is that if you capture audio and video in your camera, and then you capture separate audio in like a Zoom or a Tascam, you can actually use this to automatically sync up that external audio to your AV and boom, you're good to go. But if you just want to create six different angles and have different audio, then you can use the multicam tool for that as well. Now, just to show you one more feature of it, I'm just going to drag some stuff in here real quick. I'm not going to do anything with it, but I want to go to the next step. So I'm going to click on OK. And now you see that you have all your different cameras that you set up are all down here. You see multicam and you see PIP, which means you can also have a picture in picture track of just one video of a square of you saying whatever you want to say or someone narrating or whatever you want it to be. But you have the option of having six different multicam angles and then a PIP track. That is crazy. 
Show Liz loving you right now, Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Let's get out of here. Remember, I will be doing a tutorial on that in the future. Next thing we got that's new and improved on Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate is called Audio Ducking. Audio Ducking does just that. It ducks. It brings the audio level down for any music or anything that you're playing so that dialogue can be heard and it does it automatically for you. So as an example, let's just say I bring this video down into the track. And then I bring in some audio. So I have the audio and the video that I want and I want to have where this dialogue is happening. I want the audio of the music to be brought down. So I'm gonna click on the audio ducking button. Just need to make sure that the master track that I have is the correct one. And then we have our ducking level. So with the ducking level, the higher the ducking level is on here, the lower the music volume will be. Say I wanted it to be at 50. And now when I play this, the music will be high here, then it'll go down. And then when I finish speaking, it'll come back up. Now that I showed you how to change the pitch of your voice in your videos, do me a favor, all right? Click on... Point. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. I like that, I like that. Now, besides the multicam, the audio ducking, the project bins, the favorite folders, guess what else we got? More effects. If you have Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, then you're also gonna have new blue effects for, or essentials for, added into the mix for you, giving you more effects loving to deal with and play with on your videos and give you more professionalism when you're doing effect style things. It has correction for things like fisheye. It has a um, uh, time clock that you can add to the bottom, things like that, uh, reflection effect. It's got a lot of great things on it. So new blue essentials 4 has been added to the plugins and Keep in mind, it's got over 800 presets and 65 plugins all together. So, hmm, you're getting a lot of effect love coming from Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Last but not least, Pinnacle Studio 19 still has that 64-bit performance. It's got uh, optimization for using the latest processors. And guess what? It's bringing us more file formats that we can use. And that means that variable frame rate videos, from iPhone 6, uh, XAVC decoding, DVC Pro HD decoding, and guess what? MXF file formats are now going to be able to be imported and used uh, in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. That's it, people. Those are the things that are new. All right, my Pinnacle Studio peeps, if you like the content that I'm bringing to you, you know the routine. Click the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. You know I love comments, so leave me comments. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see. Ask me for help. Or just tell me hi, how you're doing, bruh. You know, it doesn't matter because I always get back with you. And if I can't help you with something, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, subscribe to the channel. If you want to get Pinnacle Studio love every other week, then you have to subscribe else you're going to miss out on the great videos that we make here at Pinnacle Studio Pro. So subscribe to the channel and get the knowledge you need to use the software. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.